neurons have a cell body and they have many processes and the processes, the dendrites and the axons, are where synapses are formed. And these synapses can be hundreds of microns from the cell body. Our study concerned where do synapses get the proteins that they need to function. Now unlike other cells, there have been hints in the literature that have suggested this. We've seen protein synthesis machinery out in the processes and also seen a handful of messenger RNAs. What we wanted to discover is the full complement of mRNAs that are present out in the processes because this will determine what this local translation can be used for. So we compared three studies from the past with the, which they use microarray approaches and in-situ hybridizations and we found that surprisingly there's very little overlap between them. So we think uh, the problem is that there's, it's a sensitivity issue. So what we did is we took advantage of the architecture of the hippocampus and we isolated RNA from the CA1 neuropil. After isolating the RNA, we submitted to three different technologies. One of them is next generation sequencing, the second one is high resolution hybridization, and the third one is single molecule mRNA detection by nanostring. So next generation sequencing is a method that allows one to check all the mRNAs that are present in the sample. So the challenge in this case is the amount of data that this method produced. So we need to analyze this data and uh, map it back to the genome. So we used a well-established algorithms and a custom-made script to identify a list of IDs of mRNAs that were present in the neuropil layer of CA1 hippocampus. But this approach was more like true-false approach, so it was saying if these mRNAs are present or not. So we need to find other methods that will tell us also what's the quantity of these mRNAs as well their position in the neuron. Therefore we used a new technology called nanostring. Nanostring is a candidate-based approach where you design a unique barcode for every mRNA of interest. In our case we wanted to validate 300 genes so we designed 300 unit barcodes. So every barcode consists of a six fluorophores in a unique arrangement. So you hybridize your RNA from the tissue of interest from the hippocampus uh, with your barcode and then the sample is imaged in a microscope and the barcodes are counted. So after validating the transcript by nanostring and get an idea of the abundance, we want to now focus more on a single cell level and get an idea about the localization of the mRNA within the cell. Therefore, we use a technique called high resolution in situ hybridization, where a branch DNA filled with fluorophores is bound to the mRNA, and therefore it's possible to visualize a single mRNA molecule. Within this technique, we um, could validate over 100 transcripts and could show that most of them are present in the proximal dendrites, and almost most of them are also present in the distal dendrites. So we found that. Uh uh, around 8,379 transcripts are localized to the synaptic neuropil transcriptome. Of them, around 2,550 are localized to dendrites and axons, and we found that this number has a big overlap with previous studies. What this means is that we increase the potential for the local transcriptome, and it suggests that uh, proteins can be synthesized from a local source uh, rather than a somatic source. So we were really surprised to find so many mRNAs, 2,500 mRNAs, as opposed to previous estimates of 100 or so. And what it suggests is that maybe local protein synthesis isn't just used during special cases of synaptic plasticity, but maybe plays a much more fundamental role in establishing and maintaining synapses. This is something that we'd really like to explore.